What's up everybody, Kill423, back again on the Cool Runner 4 install on my brand new shiny uh, Xbox 360E Super Slim Corona. Uh, what we're doing here is we're going to go ahead and come up here and make sure, first of all, that you have the latest version of JRunner, JRunner version 0 0.3 Beta 5. Uh, that'll have all the Cool Runner 4 files in it that is necessary. Uh, you're going to want to come over here and make sure that your reads are set to 2 and go ahead and click Read NAN. Um, when you do that, a window is going to pop up and ask you if you want to name the NAND. Uh, you can just leave it blank, click OK, uh, and that'll be fine. Uh, and then it'll go ahead and, and go through the process of reading it. Um, Make sure that you have your console plugged into the wall but not turned on. Uh, you you got to have power to the console uh, and have your J, JR Programmer version 2 hooked up. Um, as you can see, I got uh, I already read my NAND twice to save time for the video. And I got flash config 000 can't continue right at the beginning. Well, I forgot to plug the power in. Uh, so if you get that, make sure that you plug your power in. Uh, then go ahead and read your NAN. And as you can see, it went through and read the NAN. Uh, it took about 3 minutes 28 seconds to read it the first time, and 3 minutes 29 seconds to read it the second time here. Uh, and then it goes ahead and compares and makes sure that they are the same. On the right hand side here, you're going to get uh, some of the NAN information decrypted. Oddly enough, uh, all slims, well, all, all 360 should be on a split CB at this point. Uh, this being a brand new console that came out on dash 16203. I never updated it uh, So the second part of the the CB is currently blanked I've only seen this a few times, but then again most councils have been updated several times, so uh, Once you get your NAN read twice everything goes through fine there. We're gonna come up here to uh, create ECC uh, also, it, it should, uh, JRunner should automatically detect your motherboard type, Corona, and detect uh, uh, RGH2. Uh, come over here and select Cool Runner 4, because that's what we're using. If you're not using a Cool Runner 4, well, you should be following a different guide. Uh, or just don't click this. Um, in my case, Cool Runner 4, so click the Cool Runner 4 tab. Come up here and click Create ECC. ECC created. It's Liggety Split. Now write ECC. And that's going to write the files needed for us to boot cell. Uh, and then once this is done, we should be able to go ahead and boot the console up and uh, retrieve the keys. Okay, that's done. Uh, I'm going to pause the video briefly while I plug in the Ethernet cord to the console so that I can just use the uh, Get CPU key feature here. Okay, now once you uh, hook the console up, turn it on, uh, it, it should boot Zell Reloaded, provided your install is correct. Uh, and then at the bottom of the screen, uh, once it's all done processing and stuff, you'll, you'll find the IP address, provided that you either A, configured it to your network before RGHing, or B, have it plugged into Ethernet. In my case, I'm at 021. I'm going to go ahead and click Get CPU Key. Uh, Not sure why it's timing out. No Xbox detected. Oh, I know why. It's because I unhooked the Ethernet from my computer to hook up the console. So I'm going to have to recap this. Uh, I won't be able to use the Get CPU key feature. So bear with me. Uno momento. Uh, I'm going to click back over to the Xbox and we'll go ahead and type it in manually. Uh, if you have to type it in manually, on the blue screen of uh, Zell Reloaded, you'll see your fuse sets. Uh, line 3 and 4 are identical. So those are, uh, uh, just pick one, like go with 4. 
uh, and then line five and six are identical. So you want to combine line uh, uh, four and five, we'll say. Uh, four first, five second, uh, and that will equal your CPU key. I'm going to come over here and click in here. Uh, I'm doing this all on the same screen, so I'm clicking back and forth between inputs on my TV. And then we're going to go ahead and type in our C CPU key. A lot of times what I'll do is just take a picture of it. That way it's a little easier to type it all in. The scan IP is a lot faster. Okay, and once you get it all typed in, uh, it'll automatically, as soon as you hit all the characters needed, it'll automatically uh, run itself, basically, um, and decrypt the NAND. And you can see over here on the right-hand side, it's switched automatically to KV info. Uh, you got your council serial number, region, uh, disk drive type right there, and that's the OSIG. Uh, your DVD key, provided that you're doing a key retrieval, that'll come in handy. Um, everything else will actually stay the same. Uh, and then also, as soon as you uh, uh, put in your CPU key, Jamrunner will automatically move your files. Originally, it puts them in the output folder of Jrunner, and as soon as you enter in the CPU key, it'll create a new folder within itself under the console serial number. Uh, and save all the information there so that you don't go hooking up another console and accidentally overwriting all your retail information. Uh, once Now that we're at this point, we're going to go ahead and come up here uh, to... Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not positive if they've released the new dash info here for 16756. I'm, I'm a little out of the loop on it. I'll go ahead and try it uh, and see what happens. Uh, create an XE, XE build image. Oh, okay, they did put it out. Good deal. Good deal. And that'll go ahead and create that file for you. And then we can go ahead and click right in NAND. And you can see here it starts the process of writing the NAND to the council. And essentially, once it's done writing the image here, you have an RGH council. You should be able to go ahead and hook it up and. Uh, boot up, uh, uh, it'll boot up to the regular retail dash at first and then you can go ahead and install all of your uh, freestyle dash, uh, fusion, whatever you want. Fusion's outdated, it's actually a dead project so I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, it's, it's very handy in a lot of instances, I still use it from time to time um, but uh, for the most part just freestyle dash. Uh, uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, play around and enjoy and have fun and, and do whatever it is that you do with your RGH console. Uh, a lot of people use it for modding games and things of such nature. Myself personally, I don't mod games. Uh, I've never taken a console online. Uh, I know there are ways of doing it, but uh, frankly, I don't care. Um, I have two RGH consoles myself, and the reason why I got into RGH to begin with uh, well, actually, originally JTAGing uh, back in the day was because my kid, my son, had a terrible habit of ruining games, uh, getting them out of the Xbox, scratching them. Uh, so my favorite feature of the RGH or JTAG consoles is the ability to install your game to the hard drive and run it off of the hard drive without having to have the disk installed. Um, or w without having to have the disk in the disk drive. So no more uh, uh, bumping the Xbox and having the disk get scratched. Or one time my kid actually pulled it off of the entertainment center, ruined my favorite game. Uh, 
I've I've probably had to buy three copies of uh, Call of Duty World at War back in the day because they just kept getting ruined. Um, really bums the guy out. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we're going to let this here run its course. And once this is all done, you're completely done with your install. And you're ready to go ahead and play. So this concludes the uh, tutorial of uh, the Cool Runner 4 install. Uh, I hope you guys find it helpful. I apologize for the lighting issues uh, in the last part of the, the install video. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, the, the sun is kind of uncontrollable. So you guys have a wonderful wonderful evening happy holidays they're coming up here uh, uh, unless if you're watching it after the holidays in which case happy future holidays so uh, again this has been kill 423 and this was an install tutorial for the new team executor cool runner 4 uh, probably one of the greatest products they've released to date so uh, you guys be safe <laughs>